Yeah, and welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we have the 1v1 Easy Tournament champion, Sucks Like, over here in the top left in the yellow, and he's up against our favourite player, Marmalada, on the bottom right in the red. This looks like already a quite a big map. Long distance, corner to corner, with your own little lake. That's not too bad. Some fish will be but but some fish boats will be bought. I'm just trying to have a look to see how many fish are there. It's easier to do it like this. There's some near the shore, kind of empty there. So yeah. that should be all right. That should be all right. How about fish to get with the workers? Nothing. But we have a deer catch over here for Marmalada. Loads of animals around guarding this top area. And loads of animals around guarding these cows. So there is food, but you're going to have to fight for it. I can't believe there's no fish here. We have to go all the way up here. Guarded by an alligator. Guarded by an alligator. And a bull. So not a great start for food there. We already see a stone cutter at four huts. Because that stone cutter would have went down before this one went down. Well, his fifth hut went down, so this looks like one of the classic gonna ball work rush you games from Sucks Like. No thanks to Coochie. Trying to perfect this strategy of cheese. If you ever watch StarCraft 2, it's a bit similar to a cannon rush that nobody likes. But it is what it is. And it's up to the developers to balance the game out. We hope it wasn't up to the developers to balance the game because it will never be balanced, as we all know. So, uh, hopefully, the more games that I stream and showcase, maybe one day they'll watch it and go, Oh, there is a problem here. Let's fix that. Since the high level's playing it. Oh, we have a stone cutter from Marmalada as well. But we don't see any... We don't see any like workers going from sucks like base. So literally, I think he might have changed his mind once he realized the distance was too long. So I think that was a smart move. Plus the fact that once you scout around your area, if you trigger any of these animals, you're going to be bombarded by a boar and a tiger after your workers. So maybe not a good idea at this stage. But you never know. I haven't watched this game. All I know is it goes to IR. That's all I was told. It was going to IR. So I hope you made your cup of tea. And I hope you got one of them thermal mask insulated cups. Because it will go cold by the time this game is finished. Got a scout here from Sucks Light. He has worked out where, what kind of map this is. What kind of symmetry this is. And so has Marmalada as his... Scout is over there too, and he triggers the first boar. Ha <laughs> I'm. Just, I would assume he'll just kill it. He's gonna kill it. Use it for food. Why not? That's a horrible tiger. You see another little thing by sucks like here. All, always going for that tree line. We see this from Pizza as well. Trying to get your wood production going up and running because once you get to bronze, you need to spend quite a lot of wood on your houses and your pits and the temple itself the quicker you get wood the quicker the temple can go up and you can produce more stuff so as the meta has changed well the meta hasn't changed more like the devs just flipped the coin and decided to make slingers strong everybody's going slingers now even me i'm going slingers why not they're better at the moment because it's made warriors completely worthless at this point. Oh, here we go. The, uh, why did he get so many bulwarks? I think he was. He must have thought that being sucks like doing this strategy. He was going to attack him. But what is going on here? That was a lot of workers going AWOL for a second there. You can see the difference in the build here. Marmalada has not got any more tree lines with a with a warehouse he did get one here 
He hasn't bothered with this one. He's put his temple here. He's got rid of the tiger. This will be a nice tree line. But I think I think Saxites will be kind of ahead. But they're both at 51, 51. Similar supplies with you. You can see Saxites has more wood. But what is the worker count like? 38 for Sucks Light. And... Uh, 39. So, for Marmalada. So, Marmalada is in the lead for workers. He did spend extra eco on bulwarks here. But it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Once you get them multiple tree lines, what happens then is... Oh, that's a nice, that's nice. Getting all of that. Oh, you see bulwarks from Suck Sykes as well. Is this the thing now? You gotta get, start getting bulwarks. Hmm. Makes it easier and cheaper to get it in the Stone Age. What, what are they fighting? I can't see what they're fighting. Something's fighting something somewhere. Was it over here? Somewhere. Anyway. We have Europe, obviously, from Sucks Light. And getting that population upgrade. We have Asia from Marmalada. He's the man. He's got balls of steel. He doesn't want to play the game to win in an unfair way. He wants to win. He wants to make sure you could win in any race because he is a legend and he is one of the best. See how that works out for him. Farm going up. Decent amount of workers there. He has got a lot of food from the mammoth here. So he should be all right. He's getting his population upgrade. He hasn't flattened out on the food, so that's not too bad. Marmalada has got plenty of food saved up. He's going to get his population upgrade. No problem whatsoever. He missed his armor upgrade for the slingers. I'm just having a look at this mammoth here, hiding away in this corner with this one worker. Oh boy, that's going to cause some stuff later on. I mean, this would have been a nice place to get food like sucks like did. That would have been nice like this. This is so great. He starts his, now he's got all the economy. He's going to start upgrading his workers. And where is Suck, Suck Slack here? Oh, he's already moved up. There was already a battle. God damn it. All right, let's speed things up. Because I have no idea how, if this is going to go IR. This is going to be an over an hour game long. So we will speed this up. Enough talk. More fight. Okay. Decided to... Didn't want them slingers. And some more singers coming to die. This is not a great attack. I, I don't know what this is. Oh, we've got a little bit of a split, but this is a bit too late after you lose most of your slingers. I don't know what's this tower. What's this tower? A bit of a panic tower against two slingers. I don't think that was needed. Uh, there's a few more slingers around. They're not going to do anything, but he doesn't know how many slingers there is behind all this. There usually should be more, but there isn't. So now they're both opponents will have to now spend some eco trying to upgrade their towers as well before they can get the Bronze Age. What was that? That was just deleted. Maybe a warehouse. And it sucks like it's struggling for a bit of wood. He hasn't maxed out yet. Whereas Marmalada has, so he is needing. Wow, that's a lot of pits. On the revised five, five, six, six pits. Uh, but he's all right. He can use them barracks. They can produce archers or spearmen when you go Europe. Whereas Asia, you will have to build a different building. And you're stuck with normal spearmen from the pits that have upgraded to barracks. So now we see Malada pushing with his slingers. More of a more controlled push. I don't know, I don't know where these slingers are coming from. What are you thinking, Sucks Life? Why are you sending these slingers like this? Obviously, he can't upgrade the pits just yet. Doesn't have the wood. But he's going to need more slingers. I suppose it doesn't matter. He lost a bit. I mean, it is, uh, he did lose a lot. You're talking about, like, 2,000 food there. That's not something to joke about. Of 
all these cows. Look at all these cows. If this was a few months ago, I would be attacking with warriors and getting these cows along the way. They want to have a fight. They want to have a fight. We have stables. And we have... Oh! So Marmalada needs to be careful here. He cannot reproduce any more slingers slash archers whatsoever. Little dance over there. Chasing them away with the spearmen. Now we have two splits here for Saksak. He might try and split. Maybe go one way and the other way. Oh, this mammoth. He can't actually get round. He can't really get round, can he? Mark Saksak's trying to find a way in. He's found this entrance over here, but I'm pretty sure his Marmalada got his upgrade. He's only just getting the site upgrade now, so he does not see that coming. That will kill a few workers here. Unless he manages to react in time. At the same time, he pushes in the front to distract. Marmalada realizes and moves his workers over here, which is fine. There's towers here, which should be able to clear this up. And we have heavy spears already. How are we doing on the sucks like base? We have everything bronzed up. We are we heading down to bronze? No. Yeah, yes, we are. Middle Ages. Oh, he's already at Iron Age. He's going to the next level. Sneaky, sneaky. And of course, he will be going East Europe. Wait. He's going East, not West. Oh. Of course he's going. Hey, I'm confused. He normally goes West. And what have we got for Marmalada here? What? Something's dying. What is dying? I hope it wasn't workers. And Marmalada is on his way to West Asia. Gonna be getting them camels to cross this green desert. Now we have a little bit of a fight here. Got archers now. I wonder if they will upgrade the archers. Probably not, because he did lose a lot of archers, so he has reproduced. He did lose a lot of stingers, so he has reproduced some archers that's marmalada's tower marmalada's pushing the towers he does like to do that and we've got some horsemen going straight to sucks like space to do some eco damage not no micro in here from sucks like and the heavy spears are dealing with everything there uh, tower should deal with that and we've got some more heavy spears something hitting something somewhere I can't see. We have medieval and no population upgrade yet. And the horses have arrived in Sucks Like Space. It takes down the stone. Where is the iron? The iron is there. This is great. There will be no Wanagas. This is going to be a good match already. I'm already excited. This is actually going to be more balanced. Shame it wasn't East Asia versus East Europe, but. It's still, it's still all right. It's still all right. We've got the stables here for Europe as well for Sucks Light. He should, he will be producing his own stuff. Nice catch here on the workers by Sucks Light. And the mammoth, the mammoth died already. So had to move all these workers. Got two kills on that one. Three kills on that one. No kills on that one. So they've done a bit of damage. And here comes the Sipak slash Mumluks. Nice warehouse here would be pretty cool. Mm, a lot of heavy spears here. A lot of heavy spears. <clears throat> Some fish boats. No boats for... Sucks like he does not need them, I guess, the way he's playing this game. Uh, why has he gone for that stone? He has a stone right here. Interesting. See, another tactic people like to do in RTS is they try and not get the resources close to them when they have a chance to move out and get the resources further away from their base. Just in case they get pushed back into their base, they can then take the resources that are inside their base. It's a clever little trick. Risky both ways, but I like it. 
Where are these guys? Horsemen. European horsemen. Trying to find something to attack. Of course, there's no more archeries. Oh, there is this one archery here. Yes, he's going to need more archers to defend against horses. And maybe towers might be better as well. Depending on what sucks like has planned. What is this? We have some workshops. Is he building anything out of them? He's going for the catapult build. Interesting. His wood is not great. So he has not been able to upgrade these houses so he can get them militiamen. Look at his big army. Look at his big army. Has he got enough iron? He's got enough iron, he can make them into mumlucks as well. Is he going to? Not at the moment. No. This tree line again is going to need to move out soon. Maybe to here. Maybe delete one of these barracks. Oh, it's just pure archers from Sucks Like to try and deal with this. But I feel like this is going to destroy his archers. Like so. Mum looks got more speed so they can run in before they get shot down. The heavy spearmen get the hits at first, and we have one catapult. He really needs to upgrade these houses. But he has to build houses before he upgrades them. Now, here's a little tip. Once you hit medieval, let's see if Marmalada has done it. Uh, it's hard to tell now. He's upgraded quite a few houses. What population he's on? Uh, I don't think he done it. Right, so when you get to medieval, here's a little trick. You build four houses, medieval houses first. Instead of upgrading these houses, you build the four first. It is much cheaper, and it's literally about the same amount of, of, of population you get if you upgrade all these houses to just building four houses. It's so much cheaper and it's about the same. You get to about 120 supply. So that's something to note because I used to always upgrade these houses and I was broke. I had no wood left. That's something to note. I've got this catapult, so different to the Onaga. <laughs> Instead of raining st stones, oh look, two at a time. It's just one big stone. How much damage does it do? 200 damage, that's not too bad. Whatever it lands on, it will destroy. They are pretty good against towers. But obviously, Onaga has like eight or nine stones, which add up to way like 450 damage. It's ridiculous against the building. But it is what it is. And I hope there will be some militia men coming out soon as well. I see the archers. Nothing yet from these. Let's have a look. There we go. Still waiting for that. He's gonna do these right. So he's going to take down the towers easily. He has siege. No problem. No problem whatsoever. What is the range like on them? Not too bad. That is not too bad. Uh, we have some mum looks finally. Running. As he's already got rid of his iron. Damn. Right. Bit of a chase on the units that came to the base. These mum looks will deal with this, but this the catapult will do some damage. There we go, Oglins. <laughs> Oglands to do the extra bit of damage there as well. He has stopped this attack. The rest of his army will be coming back up. And what it is? Sneaky catapults. Boom. Take out the iron. And what is Marmalada's iron like? Nothing. This is huge. That's huge. He takes down that as well. <laughs> He's running out of wood. He better be careful. Oh, and that was taken care of. No problem with some Azaps. Still struggling over here. Was divided, so he couldn't completely push 
sucks like. I mean, look at this stream of units now coming from sucks like. Let's have a look. We, what kind of units we got here? Any militiamen yet? No militiamen, but we do have these squads. They must have a lot of armor repair. Never go down. Here they come. They do eventually die, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Look how much land sucks like has now. The vision he has. Let's put Marmalada in the corner. I like these catapults. The range is decent. The range is decent. The damage is decent. The aim is... Eh, unless it was going for these troops here. I think... They should... They land pretty well. Yeah, they, they land. They, they can aim. They know how to aim, so that's cool. So he sacrificed two there to take down one tower. I think... I guess that was worth it. Slowly, slowly. If you're pushing, why not? And he pushes with towers as well. That looks so funny when it's only half done. That will be cleared out. That will be cleared out. Some arches there. Put these down. I think he should be able to push back. But here comes the militia men. Here comes the militia men. And they are going to turn this round because they're so cheap. He's going to be spamming and spamming and spamming him. Oh, if he's got enough food, that is. He is running out a bit. He needs to get that food production up and running. Tower here. Oh, my lord is not having it. He's pushing back. But now that the push has finished, sucks like army is getting a bit big here in the middle, and he will be planning to push quite hard. What is this? We have late medieval already for Marmalada with his elephant Bashir Buzuks. Ah, let's have a quick look at what is going on here. He's getting the gunpowder upgrades. Lovely. And he's getting more of them. And a work account. A solid 80. And we have late medieval as well. For sucks like. Oh, too slow. Well, be careful you don't want the catapults landing on the elephants you've got to keep them moving and moving and moving oh gotta keep them alive keep them alive they are worth a lot and they do a lot of damage once the upgrades are done obviously oh you're not a bit too close i don't does he don't, is it worth getting too close i don't know they do miss though don't they So he decided to just splash damage this. You think it's a little bit more damage there? Maybe you have to wait for the upgrade. I don't know. One of these Oglins coming straight in. Take care of the catapults. Don't be, uh, don't, don't, don't. Like, think you're safe against these catapults. These catapults are deadly. Especially with, with the army that backs it up. It's very cheap, very versatile, and I, I've I've been destroyed after I was winning, thinking our arm was relaxed, and then it just kept coming, it just kept coming, the militia men kept coming, the catapults kept coming. I'm like, what the hell? My mama Landa really needs to be careful here. sure about these to me it looks like the numbers but don't forget these have got four guys in them so there's four people shooting and they've got more tank all together so it'll be harder to take them out than four bachibugus on their own let's do all right he did wipe out that whole army oh he got cannons in these catapults when you got cannons we got the melting houses the eco is not great for sucks like is he going oh, he's going for russia the russian empire and what is marmalada going for more workers i think he lost a few 
he wants to get to that magic 80 number. What? How many? What's the magic number for Marmalada? I mean, sucks like it is 80. 80 is the magic number to go to IR, gen ladies and gentlemen. Nothing more. Nothing less. And it looks like Marmalada will obviously be going in there having the elephant houses already. What are these guys? Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Who are these guys? We have got Chris's Chris says Chris says Chris Chris says Interesting he's gone for India He's gonna he's obviously gonna need to get as many cannons as he can with the elephants which is really strong combo We have cannons over here as well damage Are they the same thing 150 damage no <laughs> West Asia cannons are better much better yeah what have we got here more azaps more azaps more azaps get rid of the uh, guys who aren't trained with guns first get rid of them put them in the front line let them take damage I like this he's trying to take hits from the cannons and then run in to take the cannons out we already have a balloon here from Suckside right outside marmalada's base so the vision it will be huge but marmalada has his own but there's also still what are they called curiouses curious curiouses so two kills on that one nice little damage there i think he lost the yeah, edge down to 40 74 workers when he had 80. So that has hurt him a little bit even that tiny bit of attack there messes things up Front line is cleared out again. Perfectly fine. Marmalada's eco's okay. Balancing on the iron there. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. We got about 44% for Marm. And about. Oh, he's already there. Damn. Right. No, we don't want. We don't want population upgrade we want more workers he says that's a bit nuts that is a bit nuts has he upgraded any buildings yet nothing i think he's just only hit it so he's happy using what he has at the moment nah, wait, wait, wait. let's have a look at this let's have... oh my god so many so many different horses you gotta know which one to use at the moment sucks like is liking the courier says, I can't say that word. I can't say that word. I feel like I want to say Crusaders. But it's not Crusaders. So that will go down. No more vision for sucks like. Oh, he tried to get the iron here. There's plenty of iron on the map. Well, you're going to have to start venturing out. I hope you've done your scouting. I hope you bought two scouts. If you didn't, then that's your own fault. But then again, once you've got the vision upgrade, you can see everything on your side anyway, so it makes no difference. But the vision for Sucks Light is better. He sees more of the iron on the map than Marmalada. There's this battle going in the middle. Cannons are still alive. It's 13 kills! 6 kills. Not bad, son. Not bad. Where's the, where's the mass militia men? But look at how many cannons sucks like has cannons. More cannons beat cannons. The more you have. Oh, he lost his balloon as well. They both lost their balloon towers. This is such a mess. Militiamen, I like the militiamen. They take hits from the cannons whilst they're trying to attack your opponent's units until your opponent's units get the friendly damage from the cannons of your own cannons, and it's kind of cool. Alright, so now we got five cannons. He's still not there. Oh no, did he have to cancel or is he just struggling? He's struggling for iron. He's really struggling because he's getting gunpowder units like the elephants how much the elephants cost 
two hundred iron. Mm, that's the problem. And don't forget these cannons. Two hundred and eighty. Did they go up? Holy moly! Well, they were two hundred. I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking something else. Two hundred eighty. That is huge. You can't afford that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Wait. How much does the, the, the one here cost? Two fifty and hundred. Oh yeah, that's, that's all right. That's fair. Okay, I'll, I'll allow you. All right. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Nothing to see here. That is perfectly fine. More horses. Just horse archers. Noob horse archers can't even shoot while riding. What kind of a horse archer are you? If you can't shoot while you're riding, you're not a hot rider. Get out of here. You might as well, you don't even need a horse then. Might as well walk. This battle will go on for some time. Until there is... Oh! Extra balloon. Does that mean he gets more vision? I haven't seen that for a while. Whoa. Whoa. You can see... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the balloon? He can see all of this. It's up to here where the units are. Around here, I guess. See all of that? Oh, he's got a balloon there as well. He's got multiple balloons, so he has the vision. That's a huge balloon. Huge. He needs to protect that. Oh, that one went down. They ain't going to last long when there's cannons. These towers are not going to last at all. Our army have we got over here? We've got some militia men. We've got archers. We've got cannons. Those are cannons. Oh, we got these guys. Partisans. We got some IR stuff. And are we going to get some elephants coming? It might help a little bit. I, uh, to me, it seems like the cannon count seems to be the most important thing at this point. But. Go. Still getting them sipaks. Once he loses that vision, he's gonna be in trouble. What's the range like? They're trying not to get in range of their own cannons. We've got 300 range on that one, 250 range on that. So the European cannons have got the extra range. Look at that, 10 kills, 8 kills. Yeah, uh, yeah. 10 kills. Must have some decent amount of kills on these. 10, 16 kills. Oh, I tried to protect that one. Oh, he's got, he came too close in range. You have to be careful how close you get. I mean, that, that was huge right there. Because he managed to take out Marmalada's vision tower. Which made him blind. And he was able to push in with his own cannons to destroy Marmalada's cannons. And that's, that's hurt him a little bit. He has got iron to produce more. So I hope he is doing that. I hope he is doing, come on, you need more. This only takes iron. 280 iron, Jesus. Right, so he's all right now. The machine gun elephants, they're, they're gonna do all right now. As long as he keeps this line, he needs another balloon. He needs his vision. And this way... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, boy. Ain't seen you in a... F well, Mr. Death Scythe. 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 I don't know how to say it. Death. Ain't seen you in a while, Death. Wasn't planning on seeing you at all. You're worse than a... Onaga! No, no, Onaga's worse. Definitely. <laughs> Onaga's definitely worse. This you could kind of deal with, you got time to deal with. 
and they cost more to make and yeah, yeah, they're like an hour away but it's only going to come from 20 minutes and they're here to stay until you die oh this this isn't this isn't good though that was way way too compact there look at my splash damage they just got lucky he pulled out then if you can get these to heal that would be decent because they're literally dead oh, there's got a few more coming up please tell me you're getting more cannons yes yes this is what i like to see i want to know what it's going to be like this combo against the death combo what else are you going to call it it's the death combo doesn't quite work out there. Oh, but I do like to see them bullets flying off. Oh, okay, let's go back to normal. Sucks like is not holding back. He's got his military balloon. Getting da -da 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 from the air. Does elephants shoot up? I, I have no idea. Do they? They should do. I don't know. If you don't, it is screwed. Something's shooting up. No, nothing. Nothing. He's done no damage to it. Oh, these guys are shooting. Uh, oh, yes. The, yeah, them. Gunpowder dudes. Bachibukus. Bazooks. And he's done a good push here. He's actually wiped out quite a lot of sucks like units here. The death side is still alive. Doing damage 15 times 20. Jesus Christ. But I don't think there is good... Versus heavy units, really like armored units, because other stuff like the Onagas to kind of do more damage 70 or 60 or something per rock. Look at that, he's done, he done 20 damage with like 10 Bashabuzuks, and they all died. I have no idea how he's gonna kill these. It's like. Sucks like played the trump card here. And I don't mean the clown on TV. I mean, he played a dirty game with the balloons. How many has he got? How many airfields has he got? Probably just a Ford one, really. Why would you need more? Only does this mess you up, but it also gives you vision. There's nothing you can do to kill it. Nothing. You're going to waste your whole army trying to shoot it. And I can't... Oh, I guess they're machine guns. They can't... They can't move it up. Well, that's a shit design, isn't it? <laughs> they should have been able to do a whole 360... 3D movement thing going on with it. Oh, there's some death sites about to die. But that don't matter. These balloons are literally going to wipe out all his economy. Let's have a look at the count on this. Only three... Two? Yeah. Oh, shooting it. Something's shooting it. I have no idea what's shooting it. I think it's a base defense. I'm going blind, I can't see. Right. Oh, there's more stuff coming in. What is that? That's just a normal cannon. Your eco is a joke. Mm. Well, yeah. And I said, JJ. Work out what was shooting it. Has he got an anti air somewhere? I don't see where. I'm blind. I don't know. I hear it kind of thing, but I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe that's the balloon. But, yeah. Uh, it sucks like slightly played that 
better. He had the siege earlier because ballistas are rubbish compared to that siege of the catapult. So he was able to kind of have a better eco in that mid fight. I think plus the militia men, which is like an early China unit. Kind of helped. Lee. He didn't go too OTT with them, but you know he kept maxing out and pushing and pushing and pushing, which kind of makes Asia struggle a bit. Um, Marmalada did build some heavy units, them elephant gunpowder elephants. So yeah, hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But he didn't go on a good. So that's cool. He's making. East Europe work and I kind of like East Europe it's flexible a lot of options oh JJ JJ well played boys hope everyone learned something until next time goodbye